I want to open it up and I want to give you an opportunity to leave these folks with advice, advice that they can action right away. As you think about AI infrastructure readiness, what advice can you impart on the leaders and the builders in this room? Yeah, I think even before uh, AI infrastructure readiness, right, from leadership standpoint, it always starts from leadership taking the initiative and have the right DNA within the organization to implement those changes because without your people being uh, you know, motivated and make that change happen, it's not going to happen. So I think it has to start from the right kind of culture, the right kind of workforce. But coming back to the AI infrastructure itself, I think it starts with getting the data infrastructure ready where you can consolidate all the data making sure the data infrastructure is ready to scale to the exabyte levels, that's, that's what we are seeing amongst uh, our customer deployments. And of course, having industry standards always help, you know, S3 compatible API is important. It's important to store all your data in open table format so that no matter what application system you bring on top, it's able to absorb and get the data right away. I agree, this, this prevents the Frankenstack. Yes. Yes. Garima, thank you. Oh, thank you for having me. Yes.